Okay, Jae Kyung Jung uh, will lecture about the uh, city of pagans. He says that modern capitalism produced a dark and splendid mega system of production, governance, and discipline that is a metropolis. I stare at and measure the pagan life in our limbo, the metropolis, where neither salvation nor uh, to heaven nor punishment in hell has disappeared from a metaphysical, not religious point of view. The purpose of my survey is not to accumulate knowledge, but to find the dim light of wisdom in the metropolitan city. I suppose he means Seoul, South Korea. I share some fragmental traces I have been exploring in the city. In fact, uh, he's probably going to show one of the three channel video that he made for the Korean Pavilion at Venice uh, Architecture Biennale, which opened last week, where we were both there. And he made a video called A Future. And I love the story, uh, the idea is that there was a, uh, a baby born, a girl, sometime in the future, near future, in South Korea. And uh, actually, the project uh, has a lot to do with environmental crisis, but I mean, the, the exhibition as a whole, uh, environmental crisis, but it's not really about uh, green technologies or re you know, uh, uh, sustainable uh, uh, technology, et cetera. But uh, it's really about uh, environmental crisis, climate change as a kind of a reflection of society and the civilization. And to say that the problem is not the environment, but the prob problem is actually within human civilization. That's what needs to be fixed, not the environment. So uh, he made this uh, uh, video where this uh, baby was born, and she cannot see, hear, feel, smell, taste, all the things that, I mean, without having COVID, right? Uh, but people have found out that she actually, in her mind, she sees the future. The future of the climate change where she can see what's gonna happen in the future and whether we're gonna live or die. So everybody wants to know what she sees in her mind. They're trying to enter into her mind. And uh, there are like religious groups, political parties, blah, 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 who were uh, rather kind of threatened, shocked by this presence of new uh, figure because she becomes super icon, like a celebrity, because a billion people are watching her every day. And uh, they want to kill her, and some wants to save her, and, uh, but ultimately, it's a kind of parody about us, about society, our culture, our civilization, desire to see something that we cannot see, desire to believe in something that really is not worth believing. I mean, it's really kind of dark, 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 but uh, he can be, maybe Jae Kyung will make it even uh, darker, not sure. But you know, he was interested in tra tracing ambivalence, which stands between what is ethically right and wrong in everyday life of the city. His recent solo exhibitions uh, include Cosmographia, and a scene is, which was a play in uh, a, a, a theater, uh, a, in Seoul Shinchon Theater, and then Comedia, which was uh, another, uh, I think it was a video project. He also worked as a director for the public art project Reflect uh, in, uh, in Seoul from 2021 
to 2024. His work has been exhibited at the 23rd Brno International Biennale of Graphic Design. Brno is actually Czech Republic. It's actually a very famous industrial city with uh, Beta Shoe Company, where they made socialist housing projects, uh, gave their workers housing. And uh, also public space question mark, lost and found at MIT Media Lab uh, in Boston uh, in 2014. Artificial Garden, the border between us at the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art in Chengju, uh, which is a branch from Seoul in Korea 2021. Ones who inhabit the Twilight Zone at uh, art space called Archipel in Jakarta, Indonesia, 2021. His work is a part of a permanent collection at the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art and also MMCA Government Art Bank and the uh, uh, Western Seoul Museum of Art in South Korea. Jung Ho's BFA from Rhode Island School of Design, an MS in Visual Studies from MIT, and a PhD in Art and Media History Theory and Criticism from, guess where, University of California, San Diego. So he's actually an, an alumni. So let's welcome um, uh, Jae Kyung Jung. Yeah, so, um, okay. Uh, you know, uh, Kyung, uh, thank you so much for uh, inviting me uh, to this uh, great lecture series. Also, I'm thank you to all who decided to waste your time to attend my presentation today. So, uh, I, there are no reaction. Uh, okay. So anyway, I'm going to present my uh, recent uh, video work, uh, which are directly or indirectly related to um, urban issue, particularly uh, focusing on uh, Seoul or the Incheon uh, in South Korea. Uh, as uh, you know, the Kyung already uh, introduced or uh, produced, I mean, the present, uh, I'm personally interested in examining some situation where it's very uh, difficult to, to clearly uh, define what good or bad is in our, you know, urban everyday life. Uh, the reason why I became interested in this morally uh, vague or very gray area is pretty simple. If we look deeply into uh, ethical uh, dilemma that we are not able to clearly solve, uh, we may have a better chance to know what uh, dominant rule or convention mean to us. Uh, that's the reason why I'm interested in this kind of uh, uh, territory. Uh, okay, um, let me in 2019. Uh, this video is a very just a little tiny uh, allegorical story about Honin uh, village, uh, which is located in Seoul. Uh, Honin, and that's the name of the village, uh, began as a settlement for the people uh, infected by Hansen uh, disease in 1960s on the uh, uh, Korean uh, military government. But it became uh, one of the, the largest uh, furniture uh, manufacturer and sales complex, uh, having more than uh, 300 uh, households, uh, including factory, and uh, shop and houses in the late 1990. Uh, in the early 2000, urban uh, development uh, company uh, started a project to redevelop the village into a luxury town uh, uh, like this, uh, as you've seen in the screen. Uh, like this very uh, artificial looking uh, European a luxury villa style uh, utopian town. But of course, the you know the, this utopia project was a fail. Uh, as a result, uh, over eighty percent of the village uh, was uh, you know totally destroyed in the process of this 
redevelopment project until uh, the developer went to bank law uh, in 2011. Uh, in 2018, uh, I started my uh, multi-year-long uh, research in this failed utopia project, which still uh, remain uh, destroyed or ruined uh, in 2023 uh, today. Uh, I, with one uh, artist collaborator, I rent this uh, abandoned uh, restaurant, uh, the, the place uh, where you can see in the picture. Uh, this, this, this restaurant uh, was located in the center of ruined uh, village so that I uh, lent this space uh, to use uh, project uh, uh, space uh, to conduct my, uh, you know, the research on this uh, ruined uh, village. Uh, uh, so uh, during my field research in this town, I actually realized, you know, the people uh, uh, possibly left the town uh, by the uh, urban redevelopment, but they also had to abandon uh, their door for uh, economic difficulty as well. So there was about uh, 20, 25 abandoned uh, street dog, uh, which uh, live like a wild animal. Uh, in the in this you know urban uh, jungle like space, so I became uh, interested in uh, this dog and uh, decided to observe and uh, trace them. So I wondered who uh, had been taking care of them and how uh, they could survive in this uh, this, uh, uh, this village. So also I wanted to know who actually hated them as well. Uh, so uh, it wasn't not very long uh, before I found out, you know, a man who has who has, has no home and has been taking care of them in this uh, ruined, you know, house, uh, which you can see in the picture now. Uh, he has been taking care of uh, more than uh, 10 dogs, like his family member uh, with very, very uh, little money uh, from uh, uh, selling uh, material uh, from many destroyed house in the town. Well, at the same time, uh, this was, uh, so in the picture, you can see a uh, cable-like space, but it was actually, you know, the destroyed house. So uh, around 10 dogs actually live here. Uh, uh, basically, the guy, you know, to help them uh, survive. Let me share uh, the video just a little bit. Uh, Okay, so uh, let me skip. Uh, so this is the uh, honey village that you can still see. Uh, and I spent about like what, one year uh, to uh, conduct my research on, uh, you know, uh, try to understand how this abandoned dog uh, uh, survived in this uh, ruined town. So then let me move a little bit. Yeah, uh, this was the place, uh, as I just mentioned, uh, the place where uh, most of the uh, abandoned dog live together, like a little small uh, family member. But, you know, they are very, very, um, um, so I try to get closer to them. Uh, but definitely I'm a stranger to them. So, you know, they really, um, um, you know, uh, pay attention to my uh, little picture. So they regard me as a kind of invader or enemy, of course. But I, I, I basically trace the story of the dog, but at the same time, you may just a little bit about, you know, story of the people who actually uh, came to here and uh, uh, you know, 
uh, settle down uh, their lives. But uh, I doesn't want to directly talk about the people uh, in this uh, uh, place. But they have their own pain and their own uh, issue. But I uh, try to find a detailed way of uh, dealing or you know, addressing the, uh, the, the history of this place uh, by uh, tracing this little creature. And, oh. Okay, so let me just a little bit more. Uh, he was another uh, guy who actually take care of him. He's just a neighbor who, uh, uh, who is learning this uh, the, the, the shop uh, to collect uh, you know, metal or some recycling uh, material uh, from the town. But he, he liked this little baby so that uh, very easy to uh, observe you know, their interaction. Uh, just uh, watch it, the little part of this video. Yeah, so um, as uh, you could read, you know, this little uh, uh, story, I mean, in subtitle, uh, the video work uh, contain uh, the moment of uh, ethical uh, dilemma, uh, you know, the guy who take care of them uh, face while uh, they, uh, why he uh, take care of this dog. Uh, basically, as you've seen, a uh, dog is exposed to very wild conditions, so very easily hurt by a car or other accident. So <clears throat> when a single dog is injured uh, with his limited income, he must decide whether to keep one alive or to feed the other. So it's a very uh, uh, ethically uh, uh, difficult moment to make a decision because it, as you might guess, it's, it's not very easy for him to, you know, ignore uh, the death of injure, injured dog, who is like a family uh, to him. So uh, I wanted to uh, share uh, maybe the uh, end of the walk. Um, I'm sorry. So can you can you hear the sound or can you read the subtitle? We can hear the sound. We saw and, uh, the subtitle before. Okay. Uh, what is the exact nature of your question? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that you can the, you can see the text and you can hear the sound, right? Well, right now there is no. Is there a subtitle at the moment? No, 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 no. no okay, no, then before. I cannot see the subtitle if there's no yeah, subtitle. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me share the uh, last part of this video. Okay. Yes, we can see the subtitle. Can hear the dog's bark too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <Both feet away. laughs>
Okay, so um, yeah, it's very dark. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so that uh, this work was reconstructed based on uh, uh, you know, through testimony of the man uh, who take care of the dog. So he believed, you know, uh, an injured dog understand the you know his ethical pain uh, he encounter uh, while he uh, make a decision uh, who will save or who need to be die. So the dog decided to end his own life to help him uh, free from the suffering. So um, we, actually, we don't know exactly whether his testimony is true or not. But actually, it's, it's not important, uh, uh, which I think, uh, because this is a short story of a strange community uh, between human and this abandoned dog in this town uh, actually uh, remind me of uh, what is uh, missing in our utopic uh, urban uh, development project. So, so if you uh, think a little bit about, you know, the, how this uh, the town has been formed uh, from uh, the you know, early settlement uh, in the 1960s, uh, but what I heard from you know the the, the people who have been here uh, since 1960, uh, uh, they say you know early settler of the village uh, who were segregated by a military uh, dictatorship and of course uh, sterile view uh, had to help each other to uh, survive. You know this their uh, collaboration actually uh, you know the play a key role in. Uh, bright, brighting, uh, pr uh, bring the success uh, to the town, the wealth, uh, until 2000. But, you know, the, 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 the early settlers, the second generation, uh, they could own the land and house uh, uh, eventually. Uh, but, you know, the many of them uh, wanted to earn uh, more money uh, with this urban uh, redevelopment project. Uh, which is very uh, reasonable uh, decision uh, from market point of view. Uh, but what we missing here is the pain of a neighbor losing their old business and friend for the development. So um, I, I, I think this is a simple video, uh, which is, of course, it's not a new story error, uh, but still show uh, what urban, uh, modern urban community uh, miss today. Uh, there was a reason why I uh, wanted to uh, start my uh, present presentation uh, with this project. Uh, so, uh, so since 2019, uh, this uh, video piece uh, has been very continuously uh, being presented or screened uh, in small uh, or large venue, like you know, uh, national museum or was very small, you know, two or three people gathering place, or sometimes uh, international film festival, uh, domestically or in internationally. So that also it become a part of, you know, a permanent collection of Seoul Museum of Art, which actually I didn't expect, you know, while I produced the work. Uh, but the, my point is that the village should be disappear in the near future, that which I'm sure. Uh, but it's you know not uh, the story of that uh, particular uh, village uh, in Seoul. Uh, I guess you know uh, there will be countless large or small uh, community uh, destroyed by human desire uh, every day, every day, everywhere. So uh, in in the video, you know, like a dog uh, that smell uh, that friend on the ground and uh, he bring it to us again and again. So that I hope that this work uh, will uh, continue to uh, bring ethical quest questioning. It could be sometimes very dark uh, to us in the uh, future as well. So, um, okay, so uh, my uh, next project, uh, which I wanted to share is the realm of cost. Uh, made in uh, 2020, uh, which was a single channel video project. Uh, so in 2020, uh, I moved to all the city center of Incheon, uh, 
uh, a, poly, a port city uh, uh, near uh, Seoul, a metropolitan uh, capital city in South Korea. Um, well, as you might guess, I mean, outside Seoul, uh, you know, the many middle size or, you know, the small size city is uh, continually uh, has been economically uh, declining. So uh, this area was also, uh, uh, you know, very similar uh, situation so that all city center uh, has been also uh, declining uh, economically uh, since uh, new city center has been uh, constructed, you know, outside this old area in Incheon. Uh, then when I uh, moved to here, then when I explored this uh, uh, site, you know, I discovered many uh, empty uh, store or, you know, cafe and real estate and little small business uh, space. Then I, uh, I don't know why, but I conducted decided to conduct the research on this empty store uh, with a, uh, help from real uh, estate agent. agent. Uh, because I, I saw, you know, the real, real estate agent, they are people who know best who move in or move out in the town. So I spent about one year to explore, you know, the uh, empty uh, space uh, in this uh, old city center of Incheon. Uh, then I found a lot of, you know, uh, empty uh, store. But, uh, but uh, during my research, I uh, learned uh, there was a place called Goblin site. Uh, in Korean, we call it Dokkebito. Uh, they are place where very strange thing happen, which cannot be explained by science or reasoning, like you know the uh, poltergeist uh, uh, phenomena in the Western culture. So, at, at, the, at the beginning of you know uh, uh, discovering this goblin site, uh, you know uh, in Dongincheon area, I got a little bit excited as a visual artist, because, you know, visual artists, artists, they are yeah, interested in finding something new story. But at the same time, uh, you know, when I uh, uh, look more closely at this goblin site in all the city center, I uh, realize you know, most of them were a place where there, you know, uh, the tragedy, uh, 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 in the past time. Uh, for instance, uh, this place, um, there was a very sad story of a family uh, who, you know, ended uh, their own life uh, due to uh, economic uh, difficulty uh, during the IMF crisis in 1998 in South Korea. So that, yeah, so then I start, um, expanding my research, then I somehow felt I need to um, do something uh, uh, about uh, this, you know, forgotten memory, uh, but not sure how to do that. Uh, then I spent uh, more time then uh, uh, try to figure out what would be the, you know, the best uh, uh, right way to uh, deal with this uh, the tragedy in this town. So I uh, a little bit. <clears throat> so that I uh, wrote a very short uh, script about uh, three people who I need this uh, ghost, ghost site. Uh, it's a fictional, but based on, uh, you know, history. So that this work uh, contain uh, testimony of a young woman uh, in her age uh, story. Uh, at the same time, uh, this work also uh, have, you know, the two uh, character. Uh, one is a real estate agent uh, in her age 40. 
and uh, also a poor old retired man who owned a very small uh, building where the, you know, this uh, family tragedy happened around 30 years ago. Then I, I invented these three uh, fictional characters uh, based on this actual uh, the historical uh, the memory. Uh, but you know, I thought about you know life condition for those uh, three people to survive in 2021 were not easy, you know, as before. So that the young, uh, for the young people, you know, uh, in South Korea, there are very little job uh, for uh, young generation. So uh, in this uh, uh, fictional drama, you know. Uh, this uh, the, the young uh, women character uh, tried to uh, start her own small business with just very little money, so she need a very cheap uh, place. Also, you know the old uh, uh, man uh, rely on, rely on rental income uh, from the building for his uh, retired life. Uh, both also need you know. Um, uh, money uh, to be a survivor, you know, uh, in 2021. Uh, also, there, the last character is the real estate uh, agency. Uh, she actually hides the past tragedy of the, this space and uh, introduces this goblin side to the young uh, woman. Uh, but definitely, you know, the, 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 the agent feel guilty, uh, but she see her action as a helping uh, both poor young woman and the old man together. Yeah, so as you've seen in this video, this young generation, you know, uh, you know, she got really happy to find uh, this space, very small space for her small business, uh, for very cheap price. Uh, because it, it was cheap, uh, because they, you know, as I mentioned before, this space has tragic memory of you know family, uh, but she didn't know that because you know the real estate agency she actually intentionally hide this story, uh, so that you see, uh, uh, you know, her uh, hand gesture. Uh, to play with this, uh, you know, little uh, object. Uh, but the reason why I incorporated this kind of gesture was that when we enter new space, the, what we are doing is actually cleaning. So that I symbolize this cleaning uh, uh, gesture uh, uh, with, you know, her testimony. Uh, let me move a little bit. Yeah, so the, this is the reason why you can see uh, this, uh, you know, trash bag. Um, yeah, so that uh, she's, uh, you know, the real estate agency uh, agent. Um, So when you, uh, it, it is very typical in South Korea, uh, if you, you know, to make a contract, a rental contract, you have to go to a real estate uh, a, a company or agent, agency. But if you visit there, there all the time, this kind of little, little uh, the food, like a candy, a little, little tiny copy. So, uh, so, that's what I heard from a uh, young generation uh, who made the first contact uh, uh, for her small space. So that I, I represent both kinds of situations. This is the moment they made the contact together. So here uh, you can maybe lead, you know, Actually, the you know how this uh, real estate agent uh, become uh, agent. Uh, 
And she used to teach at art school, but when she got older, uh, there was no place to go. So she decided to be a uh, you know, real estate uh, agency. So the, this work uh, is considered uh, then uh, old um, generation uh, who need uh, you know, money from this young generation, uh, uh, you know, renting uh, his small space. Uh, it's kind of for really tired, you know, the old generation, which you can easily find uh, in South Korea now. So that you know, there are a lot of advertisement. You know, you can uh, buy a small building, then you can enjoy your retired life. So that's the reason why I include this uh, advertisement about that. Uh, you know. Okay, let me let me. Um, so I didn't explain, you know, in this video uh, project. Uh, at the same time, this work was uh, played at the airport together. So I didn't explain, uh, you know, the, the background story like this. Uh, when I uh, played this uh, theater, so uh, people could maybe see what's going on in this uh, simple uh, uh, gesture. What is she? What is she pulling down? Uh, it's a it's a little uh, string uh, so that she do she are running small business, right? So that she tried to make a little piece to sell, like a macaron. Uh, but I doesn't want to show macaron itself, but I want to show it more uh, symbolic uh, way. But at the same time, this string uh, somehow represent you know. Uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the time uh, with the people who use uh, when they decide to end their life. So it, it has a double meaning. Well, the, is uh, a string, uh, is these plastic strings that you wrap uh, yep. packages yep. Right, when you right. sell them, right? Right, right, exactly. Okay. That's what I um, wanted but, to know, because yeah, I think yeah. the audience would like to know something like that. Yeah, like so that any... it's a young generation, she used her hand to make a little piece so that, you know, in South Korea, young generation, they work as a, um, let's say, work, at, work for the cafe, or they started their small business to sell a macaron. So they, they, their life is depend on uh, their hand. So that, that's the reason why I, I use this image. You know, they make to sell, but, you know, they are, probably their business uh, didn't go very well in general. That I, I also need to explain before, uh, when there was papers and stuff that they were making contract, uh, mm. Koreans still use these uh, uh, engraved stamps as a signature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you so also the... stamp it on two pieces of paper yeah, in the yeah. middle so that right. both sides have half of the stamp. It's kind of a ritual mm -hmm. in contract. And uh, so what he's doing is that taking something that is really kind of mundane as real estate contract and setting up in this stage that appears to look like some kind of religious ritual, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, and, you and, can and see and that. that's yeah. what, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, I have to bug in to explain those things because I think you would better understand that. Now. Yes. Yeah, it's, you can imagine, you know, it's, it's a life contract because the young generation, they don't have enough money. So they, it's like one-time betting, bet, uh, betting. So if you fail uh, to learn your business, you really fail. So that there's a reason why I uh, put the image in, in uh, a dimension, literal way. 
is not just you know social contract. It's a kind of life contract. So that, um, yeah. So that maybe let me show a little bit. Yeah, so that she made this little uh, flower with this little, you know, high uh, street. So somehow, um, I think um, the end of this uh, play, uh, you, know, you know, you can see three uh, flower on the ground. Uh, actually, that's what she put uh, on the ground at the end of this uh, project. The reason why I put this uh flower uh in this way is to um memorize you know the people who are disappearing somehow well, wanted to way um you know i don't know you know okay so that maybe let me finish this video at the end of the uh, uh maybe let me finish this project with the ending of this work so these flowers that she made are these are things that you attach to gift box, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you know, when you see Christmas gift box, you add these kind of, and what you saw that thing coming down from the ceiling was this plastic, typical strip, that you yeah, wrap yeah. the box and then you also use that to make this flower, right? Right, right. Uh, and it's, so. It's very Banner everyday object, but it, it can be used to save the life, but at the same time, it can be used to end the life in South Korea. Uh, also, you know, when you learn small business, uh, well, it's maybe very I, I should explain this. Sorry, is that in South Korea, culture is that uh, if you do something and if you make a mistake, it just sticks with you rest of your life. It's almost right. like a uh, you know, criminal sentence here in the United States, where once you have that, you can't get a job. In, mm. in America, we, uh, you, know, you, you get second chance. If yeah, you, but if you fail one funny. town, you go to another town. That was the idea. Right. But in Korea, you, only fail, you can only fail once. Right, right, right. Very, very, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, this is a another dark story. And then finally, the future. <laughs> Take a really long time. This is actually three channel video, but he's only yeah. showing one channel. Right, now let me show original condition just a little bit it's because you can't see the subtitle when it's stretched right, out yeah, yeah so this is the uh, you know uh traditional video installation which is now looking at in korean uh, pavilion you know, created by chong park and Hui jong the Kyung already explained, uh, you know, one uh, uh, idea of this work. Uh, so this work had a short story about mysterious child who is known as a god child who can uh, predict the, the future. But as Kyung said, you know, this child cannot see people who are here, but the rumor about the child is spread to public. And of course, you know, that caused a great chaos. Uh, so the government, you know, really established a special uh, research lab. Uh, research lab and the special committee, uh, committee uh, member to investigate the child case. So that in this video work, uh, the woman 
who is known to have discover and care for the child for the first time. Uh, and, you know, that, that's, that's the, okay. Let me, uh, this is a she who is known as a person who uh, first discover this child and uh, take care of uh, her. Uh, uh, he is, he is uh, you know, character who represent, you know, uh, governmental uh, way of understanding this mysterious uh, event. Then, of course, a scientist who wants to know what gain knowledge, uh, you know, how this mysterious uh, thing can be happen. Yeah, this was the uh, three channel video format, but let me uh, show a uh, single channel uh, so that you can read a little bit about, you know, the, you know, story. Okay, so Okay, just watch a little bit about this uh, uh, video, and then I'm, I'm gonna, you know, talk uh, about this project a little bit. Ah, it 끝나고 매일 하던 것처럼 집 앞에 산책을 나갔어요. 비가 올것 같은 흐린 날씨였었어요. 좋아하거든요, 산책하는 거. 곱게 치솟은 나무들, 온갖 모양의 잎사귀들, 풀 냄새, 오래된 나무에 낀 이끼들, 그 작은 그 새싹들하고 어우러진 그 색감과 질감 뭐 이런 거를 되게 좋아해요. 그런 것들을 음미하면서 걷고 있었거든요. 거기서 아이를 발견하셨나요? 저희가 시간이 별로 없어서요. 아 네. 어왜 그런 경우 있지 않아요? 매일 가던 길인데 낯설게 느껴지는 그런 느낌이요. 그날이 딱 그랬었어요. 한 번도 간적 없는 세계에 온것 같은 그런 느낌? 그건 선생님께서 그렇게 느끼신 거죠? 아마도요. 매일 걷던 길이 낯설게 느껴지고 무섭기도 하고 근데 어디선가 아이 울음소리가 들리는 것 같았어요. 뭔가 막 움직이는 것도 같고 그 아이였어요? 네 맞아요 죄송하지만 그 발견 당시 아이의 상태를 조금만 더 구체적으로 설명해 주시겠습니까? 그말 나온 김에 이 아는 소리를 못 내는 걸로 돼 있는데 선생님께서는 울음소리를 어떻게 들으셨습니까? 저는 분명히 들었어요 네뭐 하나만 더 여쭤봅시다 당시 복용하시던 약이나 뭐 특이 질환으로 진단받으신 적은 없습니다. 아니 그런 건 없어요. So that uh, in this uh, mysterious room, uh, as you see, uh, you know, there are no any uh, evidence that we can, you know, guess where this place uh, is. So which means this place represents, you know, no past, no present, and no future. But these three people. Uh, surrounding, you know, the uh, the room of a child, they, uh, you know, uh, have their own argument about that, you know, so that the she represent the person who actually uh, discover this child and taught, touched her, uh, which means she has her own uh, emotional attachment to this mysterious uh, child, uh, but these two character. The one character who uh, represent, you know, let's say, uh, government, somehow government, 
but they are more interested in how to utilize this special, uh, you know, the ability for the uh, people, for the many people. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this, this crazy looking uh, scientist, she somehow acts like a sociopath. Uh, she, uh, she doesn't care about, you know, the emotion or, uh, uh, and, you know, this political uh, agenda at all. But she are uh, only uh, interested in how to uh, uh, gain the knowledge uh, from, you know, this investigation. Okay, so... Um... 누군지도 모르는 아이를 왜 본인 집으로 데려간 겁니까? 왜 신고하지 않았죠? 저도 제가 왜 그랬는지 지금 잘 모르겠어요. 근데 기뻤어요. 기뻤다고요? 아이 심장 박동 소리를 들었거든요. 살아 있어서 기뻤어요. 이 아이를 만날 운명이었구나. 운명. 그동안 어떤 일을 해왔는지 말씀해 주실 수 있습니까? 고생을 많이 하셨던 걸로 알고 있는데요. 그게 왜 중... Right, so then... Okay, so let me... 아, 그 말로는 설명... 아이를... 안... 아이를... Okay. 아이를 안고 있으면 뭔가 어떤... 아, 그 말로는 설명할 수 없는 그 어떤 게막 느껴졌어요. 그리고 며칠이 지나면 그때 느껴졌던 그 보였던 모습들이 꼭 똑같이 발생하더라고요. 그게 계속 반복됐어요. 그래서 알았어요. 그 아이는 특별한 아이라는 걸요. 그때 봤던 것들 중에 이런 장면도 있었습니까? 네, 있었어요. 아, uh, uh, the structure of this video actually um, it doesn't show what they are looking at actually. Uh, at the same time, uh, it shows sometimes empty space. Uh, the reason why I uh, use this kind of uh, approach was that um, the the image of the future actually we are not able to imagine somehow. It's, it's kind of empty uh, space, but we all the time uh, try to understand or uh, depict the image of the future. So that uh, I thought about what if we have this uh, totally blank zone where we can project, uh, you know, uh, the you know own uh, the memory or own experience. Uh, so that uh, that's the reason why I intentionally put this empty space here, uh, where people can, uh, you know, utilize, I mean, generate their own imagination. I mean, people mean audience uh, uh, in this. Uh... 저기 우리 아이 어디 있어요? 우리 아이는 어떻게 되는 거예요? 네? 아, 사람들한테 말하고 다니는 게 아니었어. Uh, but the end of this uh, video, uh, maybe let me just share this part, then maybe I can finish my presentation. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that I, uh, you can hear very abstract image that, uh, you know, uh, regarded the image that uh, extract from this mysterious child, but it looks like something like, you know, very abstract. So that also uh, I use the same uh, strategy uh, here. So I hope people can see something from their own memory, not from what I put uh, on the screen. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. If you continue to do this, you will be the only one. 
참고인은 과대망상 증세를 보이고 있네요. 당신들은 미쳤어. 무례한 언행 삼가해 주세요. 니들이 한 짓은 무례하지 않고 대체 내 아이를 데리고 뭘 하고 있는 거야? 이건 개인적인 일이 아닙니다. 공적인 일입니다. 그리고 아이의 거치 문제는 아직 통보받은 게 없습니다. 내 아이가 죽으면 당신이 책임질 거예요? 그 아이가 테러에 이용돼서 수십만 명이 죽으면 당신이 책임질 수 있어. 오케이, okay, so that uh, this is so uh, you know the, the argument uh, basically the she only focus on you know the single individual and the pain of uh, this child. Uh, but this uh, the guy uh, you know the from the government he actually don't care. I mean he don't care about individual being, but he care about uh, many people. So it's very hard. For us to simply say which is right, which is wrong, uh, but somehow we, we uh, the open to you know to encounter this kind of uh, uh, ethical uh, dilemma, you know, uh, so that. Changgoin's 심신미약 상태로 조사는 더 이상. 어려워 보입니다. 귀한 발걸음 해주신 귀빈 및 관계자 여러분 너른 마음으로 용서해 주시기 바랍니다. 용서? 누가 누구를 용서해? 어? 참고인은 아이의 인간적 삶과 특별한 능력 이두 가치가 상호 양립할 수 있음을 숙지하시고 다음 조사에 성실하게 임하시길 바랍니다. 내가 용서해야지. 내가 용서해야지. 내가 내가 용서해. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to do, but um. Who are you? Huh? For the video, the entire, uh, almost the entire of the video, you know, three uh, figure debate each other, you know, uh, surrounding this child. But we, at the end of this video, uh, we somehow uh, realize the actually the each of them only interesting what they are looking at, which means, you know, Actually, at this last moment, she understand. Uh, we never think from uh, you know child point of view. But so that even she, uh, person who take care of this child, uh, represents a certain kind of you know um, uh, sympathy or empathy. But at the same time, she even she never think purely and you know uh, from a child point of view at all, because we realize the absence of the you know the uh, the child as a, a human here. Uh, three people they just you know the, the discuss about this you know how we we. The discuss about you know we should save this child or not, uh, but at the same time we understand the child has no right uh, to depends or to to say uh, 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 you know her own position. Of course, she are not able to uh, speak and uh, you know 
uh, see or maybe hear, uh, but it, it's not important actually also. Uh, we never have a opportunity to, uh, not opportunity, but they didn't think to, about, you know, the light of this uh, human being as itself. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Can we can we uh, now uh, go with some questions uh, answers? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, any questions? Why do you uh, shoot black and white most of the time? And why is your video so slow? And the speed okay. of the video. Right. Um. So. Because of the idea of color, uh, to me, is a way of simulating the reality. So that industry, they wanted to produce a uh, very immersive, you know, uh, visual culture, like, you know, game, like a uh, uh, video and Hollywood film. The all, not all of them, but we didn't have enough chance to how image work which we can uh, see in monochrome uh, image much better. So that's the reason why I uh, stick to this old uh, image production uh, tradition, image in just tonality. Uh, so that, that could be the way of escaping from uh, very you know, immersive sim uh, simulation like uh, image uh, culture. Are you yeah. are you saying that in today's world where so much information and so much images uh, throughout all different uh, means of uh, watching and distributing and showing that making a, a film video in black and white sort of let's say reduces that kind of noise or like. Uh, 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 to minimalize uh, mm -hmm. your visuals and narratives into perhaps more stronger, powerful? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, maybe I, uh, you can say that. I mean, like uh, as you say, why my video is very slow? Uh, I, I have a similar reason why, because uh, we somehow, you know, uh, have a difficult time to just stop because you know as you mentioned in exit number of information exit information you know so what we uh, to me uh, what we need is not about more active time but the time to think so that reason why I use this uh, monochrome color and uh, very still like uh, image uh, composition but when you say time to think I think about not monochrome, but I think about how that your all of your films are extremely slow. Right, right. right. Yeah, uh, and uh, the camera there's hardly any camera movement either. Um, right. And uh, uh, it's in some ways that there also there's, there's a sense of staging. Uh, there's mm -hmm. stages, like the second one. And even the third one, uh, with three channel, uh, they are actually kind of a scene of a stage, right? Camera is actually fixed, mm -hmm. and uh, and why uh, is that important? That kind of technique important for you? Are we like the society right now is moving too fast? Yeah, people I mean, don't have patience me... to watch anything more than. Five seconds. Yeah, uh, even you know, uh, uh, in this Instagram or short uh, reel uh, era, so we consume image every time. Uh, but I know, I mean, even I'm very hard to see my work, <laughs> even as a uh, producer. Um, uh, but if you, I mean, I, I thought about the this time-based media as a, the medium uh, which can produce a certain, uh, you know, uh, the moment that people just stop and think. Uh, 
Uh, that's, that's the main goal of producing the work uh, to me. So then I try to find the way of, uh, you know, the reaching uh, uh, the, my goal. The maybe color and, you know, motion and maybe staging uh, the idea, the all are uh, integrated to this, um, the, my personal uh, goal. So I would say that, uh, that visuals have become increasingly a form of information now, you know. Mm. Uh, before we would consider information more in text, numbers, et cetera, but over the years, uh, visuals have become another means of information. Or that I could say that people look at visual as information. And uh, the other thing is that uh, visual as a visual, uh, 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 images uh, of uh, some kind of representation, mostly it's about, let's say, lifestyle or commodities and things like that, fashions and places, uh, uh, landscapes and so on. But are you saying that, uh, that we need, are you in a way, you're kind of, let's say, opposition to that or resisting that, slowing things down, uh, that visual images should be not just information, but it should have time to convey, capture thoughts, ideas. Right, right. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, the, and even raise questions, uh, that it has ability to last beyond the moment of your observation, right? It carries yeah, into, yeah. Uh, it, it enter into your consciousness. Is that kind of right? Right. I, I mean, I I must believe uh, there. Are, I I I know maybe very few number of people, probably less than ten people in the world. There are people who are willing to watch uh, this kind of slow moment. Even there are only one person. Uh, uh, we I should keep working on this manner. The reason why. Our contemporary image culture seems to be hijacked uh, by industry, let's say entertainment business. That's the reason why we have this, uh, you know, endless scrolling uh, image uh, consuming culture, which I do, uh, which I love. Uh, but at the same time, I'm thinking about we can do something uh, different thing with what we have now. 